the beginning when I was losing weight, I was still eating, I was, I was still craving chocolate and junk food and things like that. But what I did was I stopped having good days and bad days. And I, so I always kept like chocolate almonds in the fridge. And if I wanted some, I walk by, I take one, I keep going. There was no resistance, no hesitation. Because I wanted to communicate to my body that food was abundant. And if that's what you want, fine. But I always added the foods that I was missing. I never went a day in the beginning without having this protein shake in the morning with ground flax seeds and eating live foods. So I, I always got my protein, I always got my omega-3s, I always got my live food. And then if I wanted chocolate, I'd walk by and I'd have a chocolate almond and I kept going. I just saw it as chemicals coming in and chemicals going out. I didn't have an issue with it. There wasn't this dynamic. And it's almost like a relationship. You know, when you can't have something, it's like a forbidden fruit, almost like when you're in love with someone and you and you can't be with them, or it comes like, it, it, it magnetizes it, you know? And then you end up getting them and you guys, and you live together and, the, and all of a sudden the guy's sitting on your couch for six months and he doesn't leave, he's watching football and you can't wait to get rid of him, you know? It's the same with food. If you, if you can't have the food, it magnifies the attraction, but then when it's always there and you can always have it after a while, you know? You, you can't you can live without it, but just always make sure you're getting what you need.